Hey, yo, where Nick at? Back there in the cut. Basketball signee J.D. Davison wrapped up his impressive high school career last week at the AHSAA Final Four in Birmingham. Now he's just a few months removed from, or a few months away from joining Nate Oates in the Crimson Tide in Tuscaloosa. Tide editor Insider TV's William Galloway has more on the five-star point guard and what he'll bring to this growing member program. Give me the side-by-side -side Davidson versus Westbrook in high school. What are, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think Davidson is a well, uh, you know, a player that people are looking at as a top, top, you know, uh, like player in the class and a McDonald's All-American, and he's gonna project to be a lottery type pick. Uh, Russell Westbrook, you can see that was gonna come later. You can see because I think as a junior he might have been six foot or so as a as a even as an underclassman maybe even like 5 11 5 10 so you didn't really project that what you're projecting for jd because jd's already Thing, bro, I need that. Once again, I tell them guys to hold their head up because we had an unbelievable season and we won one last year. I wish we could have won again, but got to hold your head up and keep moving. J.D. Davison may not be a household name for Alabama basketball fans, but that won't last long. The 6'3 point guard from the small town of Lido Hatchie, Alabama is part of Nate Oates' 2021 signing class and he's the number one ranked player in the state of Alabama according to 247 Sports. He's super talented. You know, with the way we play, it's fast and open. He's going to fit perfectly. You know, he's hard to guard coming downhill with a full head of steam. He's so athletic. He's almost impossible to keep out of the paint when you give him enough space. So when you put the shooting 
that we'll have on the floor and the way we space the floor out, I think he's going to be a great addition. Davison scored 45 points last week in his final game for Calhoun High School in the 2A Boys Final Four. He's the defending Gatorade Boys Basketball Player of the Year in Alabama. He also hit a buzzer beater last year to win the state championship for Calhoun. Davison pulls up, three points shot. Now that his high school career is over, Davison has his eyes set on Tuscaloosa and playing here in Coleman Coliseum. Very excited. I wish I can go like now as they playing, I can go play with them about Matt, but um, it's a great opportunity to uh, play for Coach Oak and what he's doing now is perfect, it's great for me and hope to go down to the Mark Madden and win. J.D. was selected to play in the prestigious 2021 McDonald's All-American game, something his future teammate, Javon Quinterly, did back in 2018. Davison's message to Alabama fans? Um, one thing only, same thing, same thing for this year, we'll be better. I'm William Galloway, Tighter Insider. Sweater? Yeah, that's sweater right there. I know he be rocking these kind of oh. yeah, like all the bags on the back. Yeah. You gonna wear them? Yeah, I'm gonna wear them one day. I don't know when. Got these giant arms right here. Yeah, I'm still doing some stuff. 
Bro, I didn't steal nothing. <laughs> oh, another t-shirt. I don't see one. Think about it getting in. Yeah, long sleeve, you know. Long sleeve. Take a long, long sleeve. Draw it. That made you come back, man. I just, I just caught a, a big white pig. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Time up, man. How's it called? Time. I ain't even trying to. Go follow my ground. Man, what? <laughs> That's it. I just want to follow my ground. Everyone at the table. Man, what? <laughs> Your own fries, your own plate. I ain't got no fries coming on neat late. With that sweet heat? Oh, you know, 
Are you beating me on fire before you got me? that good he was okay it was so it was solid you know but yeah, if jd was would have went to pangos kind of everybody the expectations would have been through the roof so i think that's the difference is you know, the expectations already were like you mentioned a little, little while ago that the jay-z's already kind of projecting he'll be in the first round maybe even the lotto maybe even higher so i think that's where russell westbrook had the advantage is he didn't have that pressure so he was just able to 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 show people what he did and he was surrounded by a very good team and, and in those two years, they both went to the Final Four. Obviously, that would be an ideal situation for J.D. to lead Alabama really deep in the tournament. Yeah, Ronnie, I think Russell Westbrook's um, journey to the NBA is, is one that's not often taken. And it just closes the, the comparison part on this uh, future forecast, Ronnie. I think the, the comparisons I see to, from Westbrook to Davidson is, is body type. Uh, athleticism and honestly just the way that they approach the game and, and the intensity and toughness that they play with. Like a surefire, you know, he's got to work. We'll see what he does at Alabama. The rest maybe even in if, you know, God forbid we have like a McDonald's game and some of those type of, of uh, scrimmages and games, you can see a little bit more. But, you know, that's kind of my range from I, I like him in the Brandon Nine range, a solid pro, maybe a starter and maybe it might be an all-star, but I think I think that would be uh, trending toward the high, high end. Okay. Yeah, I, I think when you when you look on Twitter, look on you know 
you know, some things. You see people comment on who he reminds them of, and a lot of people are saying John Moran, Russell Westbrook. And you know me, Ronnie. Yeah. I don't like to be a guy who compares guys to potential Hall of Fame players or potential yeah. athletes. I see where they're coming from based on body type, style of play, and athleticism. I get that. I'm not sure JD can explode in a half court yet like, like um, KJ could. But that, that's a great comparison because, again, we go back to the 34 points a game. Kevin Johnson led the state of California scoring. Come and look at these things. And it could go one way. It could go the other way. You just never know when the guy gets to college. It's going to go. Um, right now, you know, I think he's probably in that lottery conversation just because of how dynamic he is of an athlete and you know all the different things that he has the potential to do on the court. But like we said earlier, he's got to be that you know 40 percent three-point shooter and you know prove that he can play a little bit off the ball, move without the ball, and impact the game. Yeah. Impact the game when he's not on the ball. That's important. Um, I wanted to, before we close this out, I want to throw this back to you real quick, Brian. A lot of people are Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook. You know, similar, same stage. He's better than same stage. He's, he's actually, way better. Well, he's better than Russell Westbrook at the same stage. So okay, that's, that's, you know. I didn't see Westbrook in high school. I think I was still in high school. I saw Westbrook in college, and uh, I can see where the comparisons are. Give me the side-by-side. No, no, no. Nick, take go, now, Nick. Hold on, Nick. Let go, Nick. Oh, Nick, stop him. I know for sure you get one of mine. Bro, get up, bro. <laughs> Hey, the road. Yeah. Go set the team, jump in, pull that bitch. Oh, hell no, man. Oh,
he be you. Damn. <laughs> cardio frame.
Nick Briz. Young him, Nick Briz. In the lab. One foot God. Yeah. R2 ball from Cali. Going on and on. Tell him pull up. Tell him fly out. We here. We want it.